in this video we will talk about why sigma bond is stronger than pi bond very important to understand uh, even most of the students and teachers fail to understand this concept and even to explain the concept so before this we have to understand p orbital so let's see that if we talk about a p orbital p orbital is nothing but it is the dumbbell shaped extension around nucleus of electron density so when electron density is extended in dumbbell shape around nucleus it is known as p orbital now let's see that two p orbitals px and px approach to each other in overlap now when they overlap uh, in between nucleus there are only electrons so there is absence of internuclear repulsion and there is formation of sigma bond so in the sigma bond there is axial overlapping orbitals approach at uh, 180 degree angle and there is absence of internuclear repulsion but now let's see we have two p orbitals py and py so when they approach to each other at theta 0 degree that is lateral approach or parallel approach they undergo lateral overlapping and forms pi bond even after formation pi bond in between the nucleus the electron density is absent so there will be internuclear repulsion so in the pi bond even after overlapping there is the presence of internuclear repulsion so due to internuclear repulsion the overlapping is not that much effective so a pi bond is weaker than sigma bond due to the internuclear repulsion because of it overlapping becomes less effective so again quick review sigma bonds forms via axial overlapping when orbitals approach at 180 degree angle and there is absence of internuclear repulsion while pi bonds are formed by lateral overlapping when orbitals approach at 0 degree angle and they are weaker than sigma bonds due to internuclear repulsion thank you